Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Okay, so if you watched part one of this tutorial, you saw how I added these images with a clipping mask. Now I want to show you how you can do a little bit more fun stuff with the images. First of all, I'm going to come over to File, Open, and I'm going to just grab a digital piece of paper that I bought from a scrapbooking website. And I'm just going to show you how you can add this to your, your template. So I come to my template and I'm going to come down to background and I'm just going to drag it in and now the paper is in my background and I'm just going to size it and move it to how I want it. View fit on screen and I can make it show a little bit more of the design if I make it smaller. Press enter. I'm going to take my view back to 25% so that looks nice like that but I can also add more with this stripe basically I'm gonna take this stripe and right now the opacity is reduced so I'm gonna raise the opacity all the way up and I'm gonna take another piece of paper that's coordinating and I'm gonna drag it on top I've got my stripe layer selected I'm just gonna drag this in and I could resize it but basically I'm just gonna right click create clipping mask. So now I have a whole design with coordinating paper. Another thing you can do with these is you can take each one of these images and you can come to this adjustment layer and you can go down to black and white and you can click OK and then you right click it and create clipping mask and you've got a black and white image and you can adjust it uh, with um, curves from there if you don't like the way it's coming out it might usually when you change something to black and white you need to lighten it and you could do this to all three layers I'm gonna create a clipping mask for that so that it just affects this one image but you could do this these steps for each image another thing you can do is you can take this layer and you can just reduce the opacity and make it a little bit softer and if you did that for all three images, it looks really nice. And for the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, reduce this image to 5x7 if you do not need this bleed area that it came with. Right now, it is 5 and a half by 7 and a half, and I'm going to show you how to reduce it to 5x7. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.